from the Sports Station, powered by Hamilton Orthopedics Spine and Sports Medicine. Here is News Channel 2 Sports Director, Spencer Davidson. Good evening. It's a new era for Utica City FC with a lot of new faces, including behind the bench. While dropping their season opener to the Baltimore Blast 8-7 last Saturday, there's a renewed sense of excitement surrounding this team. UCFC is now a full-time Utica resident, moving its practices from a complex in Syracuse to the brand new Nexus Center, which players have called the best facility they've seen in the league. In fact, going as far to say it's better than some teams game facility. With largely the same team as the prior two seasons, City struggled to find its footing last year, going 8-14 and 14 and missing the postseason for the first time in a full season since its move to Utica. Now, longtime league veteran Everton Marrera takes the reins. He's widely respected throughout the league with a championship pedigree winning three as a player with the Milwaukee Wave. Despite Saturday's loss, members of the team said that there were a lot of good things to take away from the match, giving them a solid foundation to build upon. With an influx of youth onto this year's roster, UCFC is really looking to push the pace and make it difficult for opponents to keep up. The speed of players, uh, for me, it's definitely the fastest team I ever coach. Uh, the technical ability of players, uh, although they are young, but I think the strength is definitely our, our speed and I'm trying to implement the, to be a strength as well as a sense of organization, that's all. We've gotten a lot younger, um, so the style of play is probably a lot faster, more transition. Um, we have hungry, aggressive players, so it's, it's definitely going to um, to be maybe even more of a high-paced, uh, intense side this year from us. We came off right off the bat going up 3-0 against a talented veteran team. I mean, that's always a good spot to be in, but as far as things we need to work on, I'd say just keeping the ball a little bit, maybe killing a little bit more of the clock and managing the 3-0 result. UCFC will look to get in the win column, visiting rival Harrisburg Heat Saturday before returning to the Adirondack Bank Center to take on Harrisburg in their home opener on Sunday. Another Utica City FC season is upon us, and it's a new era with a new leader. The team hosts its home opener this weekend, and Sports Director Spencer Davidson joins us in studio to help us get ready. Spencer, good evening. Good evening, Jason. Yeah, there's certainly a sense of optimism surrounding the team this year. By all accounts, last season, coming out of a nearly two-year COVID hiatus, was a disappointing one for the organization and its fans. But with new faces in the mix, including behind the bench and a new facility to train in, the vibes are different heading into year four. This year, UCFC moves its practices from a complex in Syracuse to the brand new Nexus Center here in Utica, which players have called the best facility they've seen in the league. After two winning seasons, the team struggled to find its footing last year, going 8-14 and and missing the postseason for the first time in a full year since its move to Utica. Now, longtime league veteran Everton Marrera takes the reins. He's widely respected in the league with a championship pedigree. The team did open up the season on the road last weekend with an 8-7 loss to Baltimore. But with a young squad, they saw a lot of good things to build on moving forward. With all the changes, there's a renewed sense of excitement and the transition has been smooth so far. To implement something that I'm trying to implement and in three weeks, I think the progress has been tremendous. Uh, the players really bought into it, which it helps the process. Uh, it is a very different for some of the players. We have a lot of rookies and we have a lot of, you know, two years experienced players, so they have to learn the game itself. But for the veterans that have been on the team, it is different than what they used to do, that we used to be. So for me, it's a great progress in three weeks, and I know we're going to only get better from now on. I've been on the team now for 11 years, going back to Syracuse uh, since we've came to Utica. And so there's been a lot of the same over the years. So being with a bunch of new players and everything, it makes it exciting for everybody. We have a very diverse group as well, so um, the vibes are great. Energy's high, so we're ready to go. I'm actually new to this club, and I mean, I'm excited to be here. I love it. Um, I knew some of the guys playing against them. I've played with Joey Tavernisi in the past. Um, I just think I think this is a good a good situation, a good organization to be around, and and with this coach and everyone behind him, I think I think we can go somewhere. Well, UCFC will look to get in the win column, visiting division rival Harrisburg Heat Saturday before returning to the Adirondack Bank Center to take on Harrisburg in their home opener Sunday.